Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm King Dino, and on this week's episode, I am in Shepparton by myself. Twyla and Adam are at home, but I have come down here to show you guys around the Great Outdoor 4x4 Expo. Now, there is going to be plenty to see. We are going to be focusing a little bit extra on caravan. As you come through the gates, you get one of these, just giving you a map of where everything is. So I'll just open that up and we'll have a look at what they've got here today. So this is a list of everyone that's here today. So if you want to pause this and check out who was here, and if you want to come next year, these are kind of the, basically the people that do come. You know, and the show's always growing. So check all that out. So anyway, that's the list. And then on the other side, let's have a look at the layout. And you can see it's quite a big show. Um, yeah, so, and they've laid it out pretty good. So it's just pretty much up and down the aisles. All right, well, let's go see who we stumble across first. So the first place we're going to check out is RV and Caravans. We're going to head on in now and check out maybe a couple of RVs and one of their uh, camper vans. And we might even throw in a caravan. So the first van we're looking at today, we're going to step up in and we've got a table, we've got our couches and then this couch actually turns into a double bunk. So ideal for a family that has got a few uh, kiddos and want to hit the road in something nice and compact. You've got your microwave up here, you've got plenty of storage, you've got your spot here for your TV if you want to have your TV and power, your bed and then up here you've got plenty more cupboard space and lighting in here we've got a great wardrobe and his and his and hers or his and his uh sock drawers truck drawers <laughs> and then um over here this little compact pan also has its own sink and shower toilet how good's this everything you need a mirror Hi guys and uh, then we've got down here we've got our fridge our burner our uh, sink and a bit more storage which is great so yeah if you want looking for something nice compact easy to tow and something you can get away with the kids in this is for you Let's go a little bit bigger this time. Let's go inside this RV. And um, in here, we've got the TV on. We've got the two front seats here that both spin around. We've got bedding up the top. Oof, this place is big. Plenty of storage. There is so much storage in this place. It's incredible. Now, check out this kitchen in the middle. We've got everything you need, including a bit of fair whack of space here, so you can prepare stuff. And obviously you always have the extra space when you put your, when you put your um, lids down on your oven. And then we'll spin around this side. We've got two single beds here. I'm not sure if these can turn into one big bed, but in saying that, you've got two there for the kids even if you want, and then the adults are up the top. So that's pretty cool. You've got a really nice size fridge. So you can hit the road for weeks on end. You've got your microwave, plenty of pantry space, check that out. And then we'll spin around here, we'll head to the back because I can see, hey guys, and I can see in here, we've got a beautiful shower here with your sink. And then over here, you've got your toilet. Oh, you've got somewhere to put your uh, toothbrush. So yeah, so we'll back out of here and we'll head back down and you can see you've got plenty of um, lighting coming through with these sunroofs, uh, plenty of windows and lighting coming through there and plenty of room for cross breeze as well. So anyway, this is one of their RVs. You might go check out a smaller one. Now this one here we've done before, but I'll quickly show you through it because it is a camper van and they haven't got heaps of camper vans here. So this is the outside of it. And then when you walk on in, you got your seats here that can spin around. And then you come up and you got two seat belts so you can have two people come along with you. 
and then around here you've got your sink uh, your stove top microwave fridge nice light size fridge for the size van and then through here you've got your toilet sink shower like i said we've had this one on our channel before and the beds there and then you've got your um covered space underneath so yeah and this is a fiat So now we'll try a smaller RV. Now we'll head up and in this, but to be honest, this looks pretty roomy for a small RV. Um, you've got the two chairs in the front that spin around, how's that? And then up here you've got your bedding. So you've got a big double bed up there. And then coming around here, you've got two seat belts. So you're gonna have two passengers and then you've got your TV, plenty of storage up here as well. And your table that folds away and I don't know if that makes up another bed, but I don't think it does. But anyway, we'll come around here. You've got your kitchen, all the all the stuff you need in the kitchen. You've got your more storage. Check out this storage. So much right along there, down the back. How fantastic is that? A nice big fridge with a microwave on top. Plenty of room in the pantry space. And look at this. So if you were traveling with kids, you've got plenty of pockets where you can put their clothes away too. A hanging wardrobe there and then a bit of space down there with a few little gadgets in there and then we'll head into oh nice generous uh, shower toilet with a sink and we've got a mirror up here which is quite cute and somewhere to put your toothbrush how cool is that now in here you also got which I think is really cool is a uh, storage space here so you can put all your books and stuff when you're away in there you've got a little charging point and your lights so all over this is pretty good i'm really liking this van all right so we've got a bit of star vision here and um, they got their outdoor kitchen. Look how good that is. I love the fact that it's all chrome. And then you got a little bench here, utilizing that space. And you come up in, we've got some cupboards here and uh, your little power station here with all your different gadgets on it. And then you come up in with a fold up table and two chairs, but they've got this down at the moment, showing you that you can have a kitty bed up here. And then on the round here, You've got your uh, nice big double bed, looks very comfy, um, with some lighting. And obviously the roof, it pops down. So um, that's why these lights are here for you on the sides. And then also um, we've got some power points, uh, some plugs here so you can charge things, a radio. And then you've got these hardy cupboards. So nothing's gonna open when you're hitting those four wheel drive tracks and you got your TV mount here so you can have your TV. So yeah, and then, uh, so this is pretty much just a sleeping quarters, eating quarters, and then like I said, outside is all your kitchen, which is just out the window there. Also today, they've got boats here, so you can even come and check out some boats. Now, I'm definitely not into boating. I don't mind a little bit of fishing, but um, yeah, so they got they do have boats here for those people who are into fishing and skiing and all the rest of it. So you can definitely come check these out. I'll just walk you around for those people who don't mind looking at a boat. Here's some prices. Look at that. And there's some more over there. All right, now, you know, we don't do too many caravans on our channel, but we're gonna do a few today. This is incredible i walked in here and i said i've got to film this all right check this out so you've got the bed you've got plenty of storage you've got lighting i love the colors in here um and then you've got your fans which is always handy we love our fans and then we'll spin around and we'll see 
you got your two sofas, and then you've got your pull-out table that comes out even further, or can be pushed back, which is convenient, especially if you've got a few people in here. Sometimes it's nice to have someone for your drink, but not have a big table where it's hard to get in and out of your uh, seating. And then we've got all this storage. Check this out. Nice, big cupboards. Love a big cupboard. And, um, and then over this side, you've got this kitchen that looks like something straight out of the brand new house. Look at that. You've got your burners. You've got your kitchen sink right tucked in that corner. But that gives you plenty of bench space, which is awesome. Then you've got your microwave at the top. You've got a two sunroofs. Look at this. Nice, bright, sunny. They can pop open. There's air coming through here today, and it's so nice in here. Then you've got these cupboard, which you can put all your pantry food in. Look at that, slide outs. And then you've got your beautiful big fridge. Check the size of this out. Now, the piece of resistance in this van, I have to say, let me just close this. You've got this sliding door, hard sliding door. How cool is that? And then you're opening it up, and look what's inside. Look at this this is five star quality look at these cupboard space it's just insane beautiful big if you like your mirrors hello you're gonna love this and look at this sink and the decorations just make it all so beautiful lit up like a christmas tree plenty of lighting and then in here we've got your uh shower and you won't find the toilet in here because you got a separate toilet how cool is that somewhere to hang your towels you know how practical is that <laughs> and uh yeah and again more cupboard space now i think in here you could probably have the options of having oh no wow they've got it a washing machine check this out this is absolutely incredible look from far back here this looks beautiful and the lighting in here this looks like it looks like a motel room or a house look at the lighting it's beautiful the way it's set out anyway all right we'll move on but uh really impressed with this one Now you know I can't come to a show without checking out the Jayco stand, so let's go in and see what they got on show today. <laughs> First of all, let's check out the J-Pod Outback. Look at these wheels on this baby. This would go somewhere serious. And then let's have a look inside. So have a look at this, you've got your bed. It comes standard with a fridge. Um, and then you got your cupboard space here, but a few buckets, you can throw your clothes in. It's amazing, if you roll your clothes up, it's amazing how much you can actually fit in. And then up here, you got a bit of um, storage. You can put your books in there or your dishes or bits and pieces. You got a little sunroof, so, and you got windows each side. So you do have that cross ventilation, so it's not gonna get too hot in here if you have your, your door back door down. And um, you got, even at the back, they're gonna put two lights in and you got a bit of storage to pop bits and pieces in your chargers, your phones in there, which is handy. And then if we come on the outside, you've got also a little table that folds down and this pull out, and I'm pretty sure there's another pull out on the other side. And you've always got this bit of storage here too, which is handy. And of course, you've got your solar panel. All right, so this is your kitchen. If you're wondering where that is, that so just pulls straight out of there. You've got your uh, stove top there. And then on this side, you've got your sink. How cool is that? And you've even got your little drawer here. So you can put your knives and forks and all the rest of that in there. That's pretty cool. And you've even got a little bit of a power plug here. So if you need to plug something in, you can do that too. And I like the fact that they've got the light just up here. And then you've got your awning up there. So you can be outside enjoying life outdoors. And that's what this is all about. Now, we haven't done a Swift for a while. Let's go have a look. Yep. 27,514. Let's go yep. up in. Now these guys fold out both sides. Now here we have our table, our couches, and then you've got your um, fridge. Now remember all these squashes down. So this is it. Like um, the fridge can only be that high, but um, still that's a pretty roomy fridge, bigger than our fridge and ours. Uh, then you got your bed on one side, so you can have your kids in this one. Plenty of storage under here for your dishes and bits and pieces. You got your sink, you got somewhere to cook. And then on this side, we've got our speakers, a nice big cupboard here, and your other side that folds out. 
So this all folds up pretty nice and tight, which is awesome. And you can literally uh, pop this in the garage and you've got plenty of room. As I come out of this, this I've just worked out, this is actually another bed. So you've got your little lip there and you've got storage under these. And then this just drops down, then you've got yourself another little bed. So we can really, you can literally have one kid here, one kid here, and you've got your adults there. So how cool is that? All right, now let's check this one out. Now this one has a pop out sides, but it's actually a hard top with a pop up roof. So let's go inside and have a look, step up in. Again, the table can drop and you've got yourself another bed. But at the same time, you've got a really nice big family seating area. Um, then we walk inside and we have this bed. Now that mattress folds out and that's a double bed there. And then you've got plenty of storage. Check this out, how was that? for all those fun things to do when you're away. And then we've got another little shelving unit here. Our TV sits here. Then we'll come around, we've got plenty of storage, plenty of storage. And then down here, you've got your sink and then a cooking and stove, uh, sorry, stove and your microwave. And then down here, you've got all your drawers. And then in here, you've got your fridge. Nice big size, check that out, it's unbelievable. And then look at this, another bed. Now, underneath that, you got a, so this is a set of bunks, but then also it's another table area. So you've got separate dining, so the adults can be here watching their TV, the kids can be here watching a TV if they want, and then through here, we've got, even though this is a pop-up, we've still got a vent in the roof, so it won't be all stuffy in here when you're having your shower, and also you've got your toilet. How cool is this for a family? Now, through here, we've got another little pull-out, and we've got another double bed. So this thing could sleep so many people. And then, obviously, down here, we've got more storage. So anyway, this is another good, fantastic van from Jayco for a family who wants to get away and uh, just enjoy the outdoor life. Now, if you're looking for something without all the pop-ups, let's go in here and check this out. Look at this. There's your beautiful big bed. And look how open this looks. I like this. I like this. And then we've got our two sofas there, which again, the table can fold in or out and go down and turn into another bed. I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. Yep. So see, when you've got these, that means the table can go there and you've got yourself another bed. And then if you come around here, you've got your stove top, as we all know. Oh, I don't know what this is. Oh, it's a splashback. Okay. All right. <laughs> That threw me then. Um, and then you've got your uh, stove top, your grill, plenty of space for your cupboards. We'll pull them out. There we go. And then also your sink, which these kind of things are fantastic because when you want that little bit of extra room to prepare stuff, you've got that there. Plus it doubles up as a chopping board. It's one less thing you have to store in your cupboards. Big cupboards. You've got air con, air conditioner. You've got a bit of a stereo system up here. You've got your microwave. A nice, huge fridge. And um, with a freezer there for Adam's ice creams. And then through here, you've got this beautiful big wardrobe for the kids. And then two bunk beds. It does come with a ladder, of course. And then through here, we've got our bathroom. So really nice, big shower then we've got our toilet and then through here you've even got yourself a washing machine when you're away that little bit longer sink more cupboard space and you got yourself a nice mirror so all up jayco you've covered up off of this one i like when they've got that separation too from rooms so then the parents can be still up and the kids can be in bed or vice versa so yeah so this is really good there's a mount there but um, all over, this is pretty good. Well, it's come to that part of the day where I'm getting a bit thirsty. It's gonna stop off for a drink. Now they do have plenty of food vans, food trucks, where you can get something to eat, drink. They always have a bit of seating and an umbrella is out so you don't get sunburned because it's another beautiful day.
So I've just rocked up to my favorite shop at the show. They're always here, the sticker chick. Now she makes the best, funniest chopping boards you've ever seen. And a whole heap of other fantastic things you can pick up at the show from Biff's. But um, look at this, her daughter has started making key rings. She's gone and made Adam and I and Twyla a special van one that looks just like our van. So we're gonna hang this up in our van. But look how good that is. And now that she's selling these at the stand as well, all different type of vans and different types. So this is really cool. I'm so happy with it. So thank you so much. Right, so now we're going to check out Silverback Campers. I don't think I've actually seen these guys before. Um, not saying that they haven't been at the show, but I don't think I've seen these guys before. So we'll go in and check out what they've got on the show. All right, so guys. we've got Shane here at the show today. He's going to show us around some of his, um, what would you call these? Uh, these are our forward fold campers. So we've yep. got two here today, a four berth and a six berth on this side. Yep. Um, quite unique in what we've got on the market. Uh, if you have a bit of a look, all our campers are made completely of steel, stainless steel and aluminium. So there's no timber anywhere inside. Wow. Uh, we do bolt-on stub axles. We don't weld ours, so you can replace them on the road. Uh, we also do fully fish plating on our suspension arms if you're interested in that type of thing. Yep. Uh, quite a unique mar uh, market as far as what we've got on here. Yeah, so, we definitely won't be getting bogged with one of these guys, would we? <laughs> absolutely not. So. All right, do you want to take us through and show you some Come of the features? Through. So we've got a full kitchen set up, everything's stainless steel, everything's laid out really well. We've had a number of chefs that have bought our campers and reckon the kitchens are the best they've seen on the market. Wow. Inside, now these are for the soft people, we do actually have a reverse cycle split system air conditioning and heating in them. So All right. going yeah, that's up into neat. the tropics, <laughs> absolutely. So uh, we can fit them out with diesel heaters, but that seems to be the most popular around at the moment. So pop up inside, Dada, and have a look. All right, so we're stepping up now. We've got all this lights and whiz bang stuff here what, what are these for uh, these are all our control lights so we've got internal lighting we've got water pump we've got ac accessories gauges for both tanks because we carry two tanks on our campers yep. uh, we've also got the internal radio which is bluetooth yes i'll right, head up in and then we've got the big bear what size bear is this That's one a fully sprung queen size mattress up there wow so yeah, that'll be comfortable not just doing a simple thing. yeah yeah and look at this storage underneath how awesome is that so plenty of storage inside, yeah. everything steel. Yep, so nice and strong, and durable. And um, this here, does this turn into a... Yes, so all our, our larger cushions here actually have reinforcing inside, so they suspend across. Yep. We don't bolt our tables to the floor, so that way we can go outside with a yeah. line we'll take and it glass. outside. Um, and that opens that whole area up. So. Fantastic. Now, one thing I did spot on the outside was you have your boat here. Oh, that's my boat. You can't have that, Dean, oh. unfortunately. But you're more than let's, welcome to have a look. All right, well, let's it. go around there and, and have a look. You and can just, see what we're doing with them? Yeah. Oh, wait, before we leave here, before we leave underneath here, what's going on here? Oh, well, I can these, see tubes and all. Yeah, bit of a game changer. We've had them on for a number of years now, but these are air, air beam technology. Yep. Uh, seven pounds in there. So wow. they don't take much pressure at all. No, and they just seem so strong. Everything's yeah. integrated. Uh, so you just blow up one leg. Yep. Uh, you'll find that three, four or five minutes, yep. and that'll be just blowing up. So Fantastic. there's nothing to break, nothing to bend. And the beauty about it is the dome on the roof, yep. uh, it doesn't catch any water. Oh, that's so fantastic. Some poor yeah, bugger just... in the middle of the night doesn't have to get up and poke With all the, the water off. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right, we'll get around the boat. back. Yeah. And then, wow, look at that. Got two tires on the back there. And check, the, look at the size of this boat. And then that just folds straight up onto Yes, we do, we do recommend that you slide the boat on from the back. Yep. Because some people try and do that with a gale force wind and wonder why it acts like a sail. Yeah. Uh, so it can be done. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, on the back, all our campers come with hitch receivers on them. Yep. Most put uh, bike carriers for the kids. Yep. Uh, in this case, I take my uh, take my outboard and motor. 
Fantastic. So this can, yeah, pull a lot. This is great. So what do you, what do you use to tow yours? Uh, I either run a Hilux, a Nissan Navara, or a 100 Series Land Cruiser. Cool. And what else have uh, you got here today? Uh, today we've got the six berth camper, which is yep. identical, except it's got a double bed on the back. Yep. And then we have a uh, hybrid camper. Uh, oh, can we go we... over and have a look at that one? Absolutely. Because this one's a bit different, so that's that's why we'll go over and look. Now this one looks a bit higher in the, so the, only a the bit of the roof pops up. Yeah, the, the roof is actually a motor drive, so it's running off a screw, uh, yep. which is a linear, linear actuator. Oh, wow, that's uh, so a very loaded. powerful and basically just push buttons. So. Yep. So this all just comes. So very basic, very simple. So there's no pneumatics. Yep. There's no elbow grease. Very basic. Oh, there you go. And then this one has a big kitchen as well. Yeah, exactly the same kitchen yep. as what we've got on the GTs. Um, when you when you find that something works, you stick with it. Yeah, true, true that. And then inside, what do we got? Inside we have uh, a full width ensuite. Yes. Yes. And it's, it's very spacious. You've got, so you shout, oh, you've even got a sink in there. And then down here, you've got storage, your toilet. Storage boot on the side for towels. Wow, right yeah, yeah, down there. Fantastic. And then we'll come around, spin around. And we've got the bed, what size bed is this one? This is a full size queen. Yeah. And it uh, looks like some of our guests have had a bit of a lay in it. Just yeah. to see how it goes. <laughs> We are on a show day, so <laughs> wow, look at that storage. Now, that's what we're talking about. And then we've got eight drawers underneath. Love that, love uh, that. Not something that we'd use uh, to pack things yep. in that you're accessing every day. Every day, but still. But, when uh, you're... Everywhere we can put storage, we've put a cupboard. Yeah, and then I like these. I've always liked somewhere you can pop your phone chargers, your phone, yep. and charge them next to you at night, um, and you can stick a book in there, what you're reading. Absolutely. That looks really good. And then down here, we've got some speakers. Speakers so, are internal. Yeah. Uh, we don't mount ours to the outside. That way they don't fill up full of all dust and uh, oh, that's and smart. Have problems. And you've got heating, cooling. Heating and cooling in yep, these as well. Perfect. And a few more pockets there, which are always handy, and some plugs. And it looks like we've got our table here. Look at that. ET. Yum, yum. And uh, over here, we've got plenty of drawers. We've got plenty of drawers, plenty of storage. Nothing's going to fly around while you're going up and down those bumpy roads, so that's Absolutely. good too. Awesome. Well, that is fully packed and ready to go. That is so cool. Well, thanks for that, Dean. Yeah, Appreciate thanks for showing us around. What we've got. Yeah, awesome. And we'll uh, see you on the road. Look forward to it. So let's check this one out first. It's only a small compact van. So that's what we like. So we'll go in and have a look now. So let's go on in. We've got to step up. And then straight away when you walk in, you've got the shower in front of you. So let's open that up and have a look. Ooh, nice toilet. Nice roomy, spins around. And then you've got your shower head up there. And then here, you've got your sink. Really nice modern sink storage there and next to the door you got storage so that's cool and then we'll spin around and see the event oh wow it's so luxury looking you know and i like all the look at marble top table um you got the uh sofa here again more storage and i love i love it when they had the big cupboards these are fantastic and then here you got your stove top and your sink let's open that up and see how many burners so we've got three burners there with our sink and pop-up tap. So then when it is down, you've got that whole bench. So if you if you wanted this as like an office when you're on the road, you've got all that bench space to work on if you want to stand up and work at your laptop. Otherwise you can sit down and you've got this whole big table. Then you've got all your cupboards underneath, your fridge, nice big fridge, microwave and bed. And again, plenty of storage underneath the bed. So all over, this is pretty good. Oh, and don't forget the plugs. You got your plugs here. You can plug in USB in there, and also you got your lighting. Okay, now let's go something a bit bigger. Let's have a look at the floor plan of this one. This is quite large. So there, the stats. So if you want to check this out, just pause it now. 
and you can have a look at what's on there. But let's head on in. Outside looks like you've got a pull down table. You can have your TV over there and a few pl extra plugs with your speakers. Let's head on in. And then we walk in into a beautiful big kitchen. Oh, got the champagne ready for us and all. Uh, then here we've got our sofa. Look at that. And then the table um, that pops around and makes another bed. And then we've got plenty of covered space, your microwave, TV mount there. And then over here, we've got again, we've got plenty of storage. We've got um, a radio. Then you've got your oven top. Now like this, see how it's got the cover? It makes one big bench when you're not using it. You've got your sink there, nice beautiful sink, modern looking again. And you've got your oven. And then through here, we've got our big large fridge. Look at that. Plenty of cupboard space, and then we're gonna go through into the master room. Look at this. This is like staying in a motel. You got your lighting, um, you got switches either side of the bed. Nice big bed. I've got a feeling this might pull up too, too, and you'll have plenty of storage underneath the bed. Then here you got your TV mount, beautiful windows for cross ventilation, and then you got plenty of cupboard space under here. Let's go through and check out this bathroom. Wow. You got your toilet here. You got your, hi guys, your mirror, your washing machine, beautiful big sink. Check this out. Ooh, so luxe. And then through here, you got a big mirror so you can check yourself out before heading out on the town. Nice, um, beautiful shower head there. All right, so we're at Millard Caravans. We're gonna head on in. Obviously you got your table out here, your map, so you know where you've been. We're gonna head up and in. First of all, you got the kitchen, and like the one we just looked at, it's got the um, top like this, so then when you're not using the top of your oven, you got plenty of bench space, which is always really good. And then you got plenty of storage up the top, and we'll spin around. This one's got a really nice headrest at the back of your bed. Look at that, I'll look it up a bit closer to it. It's like a material one. How nice. And then you got your lighting, your little pockets there, which you put your charges in. Plenty of storage, including these side drawers for your um, bits and pieces. Plenty of overhead storage. Then we come around, we've got our nice big sofa with your table. Over here, you've got a few pockets, just for a, bit, a little bit extra storage. Again, over top, a little radio, um, and you got your more storage here. Then here, you've got this nice looking microwave with a humongous fridge for the size of this van. That's a big fridge. And then you've got, even got a washing machine, sink. Look how nice this sink is. And check this out. Look at that mirror. How good's that? And then you come around and you've got your toilet. Ventilation, and then in here, you've got your shower. So nice big shower. So yeah, overall, this has got it all in a nice, small, compact space. All right, we're gonna try one of the bigger vans now. This one here has bunks. I like how they've got this whole bunk thing on there. So you know straight away, if, you know, you're looking for something for the kids. You can come here, they've got a TV mount, your speakers, your plugs, something to rest or, you know, cook on outside. And then you come up in, this is definitely for a family. So you've got this awesome big bed. Again, very similar to the other one where you've got the storage above, next to the bed, your pockets, your lighting, somewhere to put your phone at night. And then around here, you've got your nice big kitchen table for the whole family. Nice big space up here. Heating, cooling, and then down here, look at this. This looks like, again, like we're in a hotel. Look at the way it's been done with the marble finishing up the splashback as well, which looks absolutely incredible. I love this. The lighting, and then again, using, utilizing that space by putting a cover over your cooktops. Then you've got your sink, you've got storage up there, and you come around, same fridge and microwave by the looks of it. Nice big size. Let's open the freezer and have a look inside. Look at that. And then let's have a look inside the fridge. Beautiful. You can fit lots in there. And then for the kiddos, we've got a three bunk bed. So if you've got three kids, you're right, or they can bring a friend, check that out. The nice big wardrobe for the kids stuff. So you've got plenty of room in there for that. And then a nice solid door for, which I can't close at the moment. <laughs> oh, it's locked down there. But a nice solid door. So when you're closing it up, 
and going to the bathroom you've got more privacy then hi guys <laughs> you've got a really nice sink and they follow through the marble in here also and then down here you've got your nice big toilet which faces that way so you've got plenty of leg room which is good storage underneath for your toilet paper and all the rest of it so things stay dry and then in here shower plenty of room this is like a shower at home you know what i mean a nice big size and also you've got plenty of ventilation there with a fan which is definitely what you need in these small spaces and they've even gone and pop one out here which is even better and you've got your sunroof at the end with the nice lighting so there you go this is one of their bigger vans so look them up if you're interested all right now i don't know if i'm saying this correctly we're now at the opus i think it's opus opus um stand now we saw these guys at the last show we filmed when twyla and adam was were with me and we checked this out we um looked at their blow up uh camper trailers now what's awesome about this is it blows blows up and blows down in about six minutes or not even and um i've got that on that video so if you check that out that's on the um border caravan camping expo so we've got these and we've got that on there so you can check that out and then this is what they look like when they're all compact pretty cool hey Now they do also have normal caravans, so you've got a caravan with a little pop top and they've also got this van here today that you can look at. So yeah, we won't have to look at these, but um, you can look these guys up if you want to check out their vans. This is the first one we want to look at, there's a floor plan, but um, let me take it back and show you the actual van itself. Check out that window there, it looks so cool. But anyway, let's head on in and have a look at this van. Wow, coming up here looks so spacious. Really like this. Look at that bed, nice. Oh, it's another one of those ones that have the nice back on your bed there. How cool is that? And then um, got fans on both sides, which I like because, you know, sometimes one partner doesn't like them and one partner does. You got a TV mount there, so you can have a TV in bed. Um, that swings around also so you can see from the kitchen um, then we spin around to check out this nice big sofa that looks like yes it does turn into another oh maybe not maybe not maybe not no it's just the couch but still really nice look at that and again you can pull back the table i'm really liking this idea of that you can pull back the table so that gives you that more space it makes it feel more um uh, just just makes it feel more roomier and then you got a full oven we can be cooking a lasagna look at that how cool is that and then you got your sink up here all modern new again they've got this type of bench top so when you pull it down you've got a nice big clean space to do your cooking and preparing plenty of cupboard space we'll walk through I've got microwave nice big fridge um, more cupboard space uh, we've got a beautiful little sunlight there. You can see the clouds coming through. How beautiful is that? And then, hi guys, coming through to the bathroom. Nice big mirror, sink. Again, we've got washing machine. How good's that? And then we'll come around here. We've got our toilet, some storage for your towels, another linen press or cupboard or whatever you want to store in there. And then also you've got a nice big, really nice big shower with ventilation which is always handy and a fan and then over here we've got um our speakers our little control center so yeah all up this is a really nice van all right let's look at this one now now again nice and big but this one's more family orientated so we'll go in and have a look going straight up these steps this is up high look at these wheels you can take this one with your four-wheel drive to some really harsh terrain and up here you got the nice bed again, uh, plenty of storage. Um, now you can see here, you have got block out blinds. Then also you got your push out windows, which is nice. Your TV mount, you've got your um, fans, like the van we just saw. So that's really nice. We'll spin back around here and have a look at these beautiful 
uh, sofa with the table here that um, can spin around in all, um, a few different ways and go down to probably make another bed by the looks of it, yes. Then over here, we have, um, we have a rabbit. <laughs> we have our stove top again with the bench extender because that just comes down and then that makes for one big bench um, once that cover is down. But then uh, you've got your stove, oven, the works. A lot of storage, beautiful sink. Up here you've got your microwave, fridge, and then you've got your three bunks for your kids or a friend. How cool is that? Um, sunlight, sunroof I should say. And then you've got your plenty, plenty of cupboard space, which is awesome. And then again, now this is a little bit different. So we've got the toilet and then here you've got your sink to wash your hands. And then through another door, you've got your shower with ventilation, which is good. So how's that? Now this is pretty good. We'll come back around and just walk straight back through. And yeah, this is a really nice van for you and your family. Beautiful. Well, that's it for another week, guys. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. It's been so much fun. Now, if you're new to our channel, make sure you like and subscribe and tell all your friends about us. And next week, Adam and Twyla will be back. We'll be out free camping, so make sure you stay tuned for that episode. And if you miss us during the week, we now have a really short Wednesday episode every Wednesday at 3 o'clock. Otherwise, catch us on our big episode Sundays at 5 p.m every week. All right, guys, have a safe week and we'll see you next week at 5 p.m. See you guys.